doctors will be replaced by AI. And now, this is done by AI. And you can see this is the... So that means AI is that much intellectual that if you give it a data, it has the capability of analyzing and if AI is able to replace doctors, then I think AI will be able to replace humans and that will be the end of it. Medicine, one of those jobs that might disappear. Uh, so, um, Jeffrey Hinton, who was uh, one of the founders of a field called Deep Learning, which is behind much of this AI boom, said just a couple of years ago, it's quite obvious we should stop training radiologists. When we hear industry experts saying all these things that doctors will be replaced by AI, and we see all these newspaper clippings, right, by a very, very famous newspapers where Famous persons like Bill Gates is saying that AI will replace many doctors and teachers. And human will not be needed. That makes us question that what is exactly the future of medical field that you are going to enter. So let's talk about that, right? So first thing is, let's discuss about that how AI is better than doctors or doctors are better than AI and what exactly is the situation of AI versus doctors. So for that, firstly, we need to understand the capabilities of AI, right? For that, an experiment was done by National Cancer Institute where this on the left side is done, the marking is done by a experience, an experienced doctor of 15 years, like 15 year experience that doctor had. And he has marked that he, this and this portion is where the cancer has developed. Okay. Now, this is done by AI. And you can see this is the same. This is the same area where the both have picked on. So this is the AI, which is very new. And this is 15 year experienced doctor, right? So you can see the difference here, right? So AI is able to predict this thing just like an experienced doctor, right? First is this thing. Let's talk about the next thing. How powerful is AI in other things that are related to medical field? First thing is pattern recognition. So if you give it some, a person's uh, MRI, CT scan, right? ECG, all these things, if you give it to the AI, right? It will store the data and it can easily See the patterns between these things. If you give the history of the person, right, AI will be able to analyze these things, right? But for that, you need to give data to the AI of that person, right? So that means AI is that much intellectual that if you give it a data, it has the capability of analyzing and having the pattern recognition that what are the different, different things, how they are connected to each other. Then AI can easily do diagnosis, right? If you give it like full fledged your uh, uh, history of your family, right, what you eat, right, what are the problems that you have, right, AI will be able to diagnose you, right. But again, for that, more data you give to AI, right, more easily it will be able to diagnose, right. For example, for that, I am giving AI like a thousand people, I am thousand persons data I am giving to AI, right. Uh, like their age, their height, their family, their hereditary diseases, everything I'm giving to AI. And then what they have right now, how, what is their eat pa eating pattern, their sleeping pattern, everything I'm giving it to AI. Then from that, AI will conclude something, right? It will actually analyze that, okay, that if you're eating junk food, your probability of having diabetes will be more. If you're, uh, if it genetically you have diabetes, someone in your family, then your probability of having diabetes will be more. This is how we are going to train AI. This is how they are training AI right now, right? And next thing is predictive analysis. Now, predictive analysis, like for example, I give my genetic data and lifestyle and medical history. And I ask AI, what are the problems that I can face in future, right? So same like a doctor, AI can tell you, but again for that, AI has to be trained, right? It means if we are able to train AI, we are giving to able to give it enough data to be able to draw conclusions, it will be able to predict your future diseases, right? Obviously not 100%, 100% also a doctor cannot do, right? But it will be able to predict 
it will be able, it will be able to do image recognition of your ct scans x rays mris it will be able to tell you the precautions that you need to take right all these things ai will be able to do with the help of the data that you are going to provide it so the question is if ai is able to predict the data like from the data if someone is giving it the full fledged data then ai is able to predict everything ai is able to predict your future health ai is able to predict your mri like what what is the issues in your scan that all that, that a radiologist can do ai is able to do that then what is the need of doctors is it going to affect the job of a doctor let's understand that so first thing is the simple answer is no right doctor is that profession it is such a noble profession that definitely if ai is able to replace doctors then i think ai will be able to replace humans and that will be the end of humans right it's a very simple raw answer that i'm giving you right now you will see so many industry experts talking about that how ai will do surgeries how ai will do you know uh, uh, like all these knee surgeries that is a repetitive process right if you guide ai then it will be able to do that maybe 40 50 years down the line right that is the main question so now the controversial thing is that if one side of people on this side that ai can do this because the precision will be more than the other side of people are saying that how can we trust ai how can we trust a machine with our health where the situation is of do or like either you will uh, either the person will live or the person will die it's a death situation if there is a minor mistake then it will totally totally be like it will destroy not only that patient but also we are risking the health of other patients right so can we trust ai that much is ai can we trust ai so basically this was a uh, this is a newspaper clipping only right so you can see this here even if systems are 80% of the time right this still means 20% of the time it will not be right at this point this is the situation if you see there is 100% precision 100% guarantee that ai will not do any mistake even then the trust the care the empathy that a doctor can provide to patient no ai can ever do that the mental health of a patient that a doctor can understand the doctor you can for example someone is diagnosed with cancer the way a doctor can handle how to give this news to that patient how to give them the hope to live only a human being can do ai can never do that right so this is a very noble profession right what i believe right maybe your views can be different from this but what i believe doctor is such a profession that can never be replaced by an ai you can take the help of an ai right definitely doctors will change like the evolution of doctors will happen the competitiveness will be there right earlier okay you have done mbbs md dm okay great but now you have done mbbs md dm but other skills that you need to have is you need to collaborate with ai you need to keep updating yourself with the ai as well because right now it is in the initial stage after 5 or 10 years things are going to change ai is going to get more advanced we need to incorporate ai in our hospitals and for that a doctor has to be very very uh, uh you know comfortable with the ai and the technology right so doctors with ai centric skills will be more employable that is the reality check at this point may not be but after 5 to 10 years yes and you if you are in the first year of uh, your uh, mbbs or maybe you are preparing for neat exam right now and you are going to enter mbbs in next year then when you will get out of your college and do your md dm then ai will be advanced so you need to have these skills right so that's why how to train ai to work in healthcare how to check ai for accuracy how to use ai to enhance and case uh, ease healthcare access right all these things you need to have ai for that right you need to have ai skills for that right so that is the full fledged situation your job is not at risk if you want to be a doctor be a doctor this is a very noble profession and no machine can take this over if machine will be able to do that that means we humans will be destroyed at that point right so that is the reality right so now 
we know that we are talking about ai this and that but we all know that for that firstly we need to land up to this college to this mbbs college and for that guys we are providing you mbsat scholarship which is going to happen on 4th 5th 11th and 12th of october and for that registration is totally free of cost all you need to do is click on the link in the description and register yourself because here we are going to provide you 100% scholarship right and we are going to provide you 150 crore worth scholarship plus 2 crore worth prizes like iphone ipad these things will be provided to you so guys click on the link below in the mb start program and i want you guys to write it down in the in the comment section hashtag upgraded doctor because you now need to advance yourself as the world is changing we also need to change ourselves that's it